People like them. People love them. People have even fought wars for them. Can you guess what they are? Sugar, spice, and everything nice. Hi, this is Scope RL, inviting you to join me as I uncover what sugar, salt, and pepper look like under a microscope. Stay tuned until the end for this week's Scope Olympics and the announcement of last episode's winner. Hello there! If you are new to this channel, hi, I am Scope RL and I cover random objects under a microscope. If you are interested, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you will get notified the next time I upload a video. To my Scopitos and Scopitas, welcome back to another episode of us looking at what's beneath and beyond. To all of you watching out there, I promise from the bottom of my lenses that this episode will be flavorful. I will be performing a taste test at the end as I combine sugar, salt, and pepper, so be sure to stay for that. Enough chit chat, let's check out some objects under a microscope, shall we? This one is for all of you who have a sweet tooth out there. That's right, these are brown sugar grains. I decided to use brown sugar so it will be easier to discern it from salt. Did you know that before processed sugar was invented, honey was primarily used to sweeten food? It was only around 180 or 100 years after the supposed death of Christ when sugar was refined. Too much consumption of sugar can lead to hyperactivity, and in prolonged instances, diabetes. So you better learn to control your sugar levels. Lack of sugar, on the other hand, can cause nervousness, trembling, sweating, and in worst cases, loss of consciousness. Moving on. Oh, we do not like this. Nobody wants to be salty. Yes, yes, this is what salt grains look like under a microscope. The creation of salt dates back to around 6000 BC. Not only was it used to flavor and preserve food, it was also probably used as a currency as it was seen as an entity with great value. Salt has ignited several wars in the past, specifically battles for salt reservoirs. It ripped kingdoms apart but also paved the way for the discovery of new places. Enough about salt, let us now go to our next additive. Hachoo! <laughs> Sorry for that. Pepper makes my nose itchy. So this is what ground pepper looks like under a microscope. Pepper has been traded since 1000 BC. Just like the two previously mentioned food additives, pepper had a huge impact on the political and economical events in the past. Funny story, traders from Southern Arabia was able to monopolize pepper in the past by creating fake stories about its procurement, such as dragons protecting pepper pits and the need to fight them just to get pepper. <laughs> well, now this discouraged other people from learning how to produce or procure pepper on their own. And because of this, the Southern Arabians were able to enjoy their huge profits. Let's take a look at them together. Think about how little attention we give to these additives. This time, think about all the wars and all the conflicts and all the bloodshed these have caused in the past. But now, you can just go to the grocery and purchase them easily. These may just seem like entities that add flavor to our food, but they are much, much bigger than that. Their impact on politics and the economy is immeasurable. So the next time you have them in your food, appreciate how lucky you are. As I mentioned a while ago, I will be performing a taste test. Well, as you can see, there's sugar, pepper, and salt right there, so... Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually crying. It kinda tastes like adobo, but <laughs> it's super, super concentrated. So, nope, not for me. Now that we are done with that, it is now time for the Scope Olympics. First of all, congratulations to Bea May Punong Bayan for guessing the correct shade and color of last week's Copa Olympics, which was navy blue. So, the rules of this game are simple. Try to guess what is shown under the microscope and comment your answer down below with the hashtag Scope Olympics. I will be choosing someone who gets the correct answer and feature them in my next video. Let's go! Can you guess what's under the microscope? Well. I know what it is. 
that is all for today's episode. If you love this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you want more, and please, I know you do, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you will get notified the next time I upload a video. If you have suggestions, comments, or something that you want me to cover in the microscope, leave a comment down below. Once again, this is ScopeRL inviting you to join me as I explore what's beneath and beyond.